Now, when it comes to flagship smartphone cameras, I think we've reached a pretty good baseline where we can expect good quality images irrespective of the lighting. Now, of course, there are going to be some differences when it comes to things such as white balance and shadows. But overall, I don't think anyone is going to be disappointed from the photos that these phones take. Now, I think the same is also true to an extent to the ultra wide cameras on such flagship smartphones. However, when you look at the telephoto cameras on these flagships, all are not the same. And that's going to be the focus of today's comparison. Hi, I'm Royden. You're watching Gazis360 and welcome to our super zoom camera shootout between the Galaxy S21 Ultra, the Mi 11 Ultra and the Vivo X60 Pro Plus. While most flagships today come with at least one telephoto camera, only a handful feature the periscope-style zoom lens, which allows them to achieve incredible levels of magnification. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is currently one of the best examples of a very good super zoom smartphone with its ability to zoom in at up to 100x. However, recent additions such as the Mi 11 Ultra and even the Vivo X60 Pro Plus also boast of impressive zoom capabilities at much lower prices, which got us thinking. Could they beat or at least come close to the Galaxy S21 Ultra zoom performance? Let's quickly go over the specs of all the telephoto cameras in our comparison. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, as you already know, has two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras. The first one offers a 3x optical zoom, while the second offers a 10x optical zoom, and the latter is the periscope camera, which lets it reach a dizzying 100x digital zoom. The Mi 11 Ultra only has the one periscope style telephoto camera with a 5x optical zoom and a crazy 120x digital zoom. Vivo's flagship X60 Pro Plus also has two telephoto cameras. The first is a 32 megapixel camera with a 2x optical zoom, which Vivo calls a portrait lens. The second 8 megapixel periscope camera has a 5x optical zoom, which can go all the way up to 60x. And this may not be as headline grabbing as the maximum zoom of the other two phones, but we let the images do the talking. Now, going purely by the specifications, the Vivo X60 Pro Plus has the widest aperture for its periscope camera, which ideally should translate into better low light shots among the three phones. Time to see what's what. Now we begin the test at 10x magnification, which should ensure that all three phones use their telephoto cameras and are not digitally zooming in using the main cameras, which does happen at lower zoom levels at times. Looking at a first batch, details are great across all three phones, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra actually produces the most natural looking colors, closely followed by the Mi 11 Ultra. The colors from the Vivo X60 Pro Plus are a bit too warm and not true to the scene. Now, in our second batch of photos taken outdoors, the S21 Ultra and the Mi 11 Ultra tie in for first place as both produce excellent details on our subject, good background separation and colors. The image from the X60 Pro Plus is bright, but it does lack good details. Now, at 20x magnification, the Samsung and the Xiaomi phones continue to nail focus on our subject but this time it's the S21 Ultra that takes the clear lead. The details are rather impeccable for this zoom level and the flowers and leaves are easily identifiable. Details begin to blur a bit in the shot from the Mi 11 Ultra, but it's still somewhat usable. The Vivo X60 Pro Plus is unable to produce good details and, and even the textures on the building behind our subject looks unnatural upon closer inspection. Our second subject for this zoom level is a vehicle which should be a little less challenging for these cameras as we climb higher up the zoom levels. The Vivo X60 Pro Plus actually has the best exposed image here of the three, which earns it a point. It does over sharpen the photo a bit, but as long as you don't magnify it further, it does offer the best details in the shadows. We now jump to a 40x magnification and looking at our flower subject, the S21 Ultra continues to offer the best details, colors and background separation. The Mi 11 Ultra does a commendable job but is unable to resolve the textures on the flowers or leaves. The Vivo X60 Pro Plus fails to capture good details and our subject looks like a mushy blob of colors. Now the Vivo does a slightly better job with our second subject but even here the symbol on the car's wheel is barely recognizable and the textures of the tiles in the background is washed out. The S21 Ultra has the best picture, but the Mi 11 Ultra does a slightly better job with the details and the shadows, which also earns it a point. The 
Vivo X60 Pro maxes out at 60x magnification, but as you can see, the result is anything but pleasing. The Mi 11 Ultra captures a slightly better photo, but we have to hand it to the Galaxy S21 Ultra here for managing to take the most usable shot. In a second batch at 60x zoom, the Vivo X60 Pro Plus does redeem itself somewhat, but it's still no match for the S21 Ultra, which produces the best textures and colors. The image shot by the Mi 11 Ultra is not bad, but the photo looks a bit hazy. So far, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has a handsome lead, but now it's time to see how these telephoto cameras fare in low light. Now, the Samsung S21 Ultra and the Mi 11 Ultra can zoom even further, up to 100x and up to 120x respectively, but at these zoom levels, the image quality is not that great. Now, most smartphones tend to rely on their main cameras in low light since these are usually larger sensors with wider apertures compared to the telephoto cameras. However, it's not a rule as at times these phones will switch to the telephoto cameras if your subject is well lit or there's enough of ambient light around it. Now, most of these phones even let you use night mode up to a certain magnification level for better results. We start off at the 10x zoom level once again with a simple enough subject that's well lit. The Vivo X60 Pro Plus produces the cleanest image with little to no noise. The S21 Ultra didn't use its 10x optical zoom oddly but rather digitally zoomed in from its 3x telephoto camera. The end result is not a great looking shot. The Mi 11 Ultra takes the last spot here with the grainiest photo of the three. Now switching to a more controlled indoors environment, it's the Mi 11 Ultra which produces the cleanest image even though it completely ignores the exposure of the lamp. The S21 Ultra does use its periscope camera here and it does the best job of metering the lamp, but overall details are a bit weaker. The X60 Pro Plus tends to smoothen all the textures in the effort to reduce noise, ending up with a not so pleasing image. Samsung makes a strong comeback at 20x magnification level in this batch, producing the cleanest photo with the best details. The Vivo X60 Pro Plus also produces a noise-free photo, but the details are quite poor. The Mi 11 Ultra produces a very grainy image at this zoom level. Now switching to our figurine subject, it's the Mi 11 Ultra which exposes the scene the best, closely followed by the S21 Ultra. At 40x, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra continues to have the cleanest image, although at this point, details begin to take a big hit. Still, it's not as grainy as the Mi 11 Ultra or distorted as the X60 Pro Plus. Now, looking at our indoor test subject, it's the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, which has the cleanest and most well-exposed photo of the three. A 60x is definitely not a zoom level that's recommended at night, but if you have to use it, then I guess the S21 Ultra still delivers the best results among these three phones. The Vivo X60 Pro Plus still manages noise very well, but textures look a bit garbled. The Mi 11 Ultra produces a fairly unusable photo at the zoom level. Looking at our indoors shot, all of them are pretty poor, but if I had to pick one, then I guess the S21 Ultra still has the most acceptable photo of the three. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the Mi 11 Ultra and the Vivo X60 Pro Plus all produce very good telephoto images as long as you're shooting either at or close to the native magnification levels. However, when you start going beyond this comfort zone is when you begin to see the difference between a good zoom system and a really great one. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra continues to be the phone to beat when it comes to zoom performance and rightfully so considering it's a cool 36,000 rupees more expensive than Xiaomi's and Vivo's offerings. Now, between the Mi 11 Ultra and the Vivo X60 Pro Plus, I do feel that Xiaomi's offering offers a more consistent and reliable performance as long as you're shooting under good light. However, if you're looking for the absolute best zoom performance currently, then it's really hard to beat the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So that's been it for this comparison. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And as always, for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.